Hi everybody, this is Kathleen Clemens. I want to welcome you to BPSOP's first week of uh, free critiques and uh, I have five images to look at today and share with you so let's get started. Let me read you the information on this first image. It's called Day's End by Gary Kahn. It's taken with an Olympus OMD EM1 40 250 millimeter f2.8 lens at 150 millimeters. His ISO is 250, shutter speed 1 1,000th of a second. The photo is of a woman from Smith Island, Maryland in early October, returning home at sunset from her day's work as a crabber. He says, I wanted to show an extraordinary event, the brilliant sunset, as an ordinary occurrence in the lives of the local inhabitants. I also wanted to capture the blue ribbon of water trailing her boat. I chose this photo from a series because it was so because it so clearly shows her profile. The shot was made more difficult because it was handheld in a rocky boat with falling light. I chose purposely not to doctor the photo by eliminating light posts, etc., as I wanted this to be as realistic as possible. All right. Thanks for submitting your photo, Gary. Um, I'm, I'm showing this at 150%, Gary, because at 100% it's really small. This photo is only 500 pixels wide. Um, tr something about 1,000, 1,200 would be uh, better for these critiques at 72 dots per inch, just to give us a, um, a good size image to look at and to check detail and sharpness. It's really hard with a, a small image. That said, this this is beautiful. Um, it's all, for me. It's all about color and line and a story. Um, I love. Look at the way all the lines lead to the subject from the wake, which that blue is fabulous, and what a contrast to the warm colors. And these lines as well. The silhouette looks great. You took care so that the boat and the person aren't merging with the shoreline. That would be something you definitely wanted to avoid. This subtle shadow reflection here is is quite beautiful, and the exposure looks great too. I might like a little more uh, anticipatory space here since this is a subject that's moving this way. Um, you know, it's it's not real tight, but a little bit more um, would be would be great. But like I said, you took great care in this. Uh, the colors are beautiful, and uh, light line and exposure look great too. So let's move on to the next photo. You can see that this one is a lot bigger. Okay, this is called Killer Whale Beach Attack, wow, by Bill Clip, a first row seat on beaches along Peninsula Valdez, Argentina, bringing with it an adrenaline-packed experience with Mother Nature Unplugged. It is here in Patagonia where orcas have learned the unique skill of intentionally stranding themselves on the beach to catch sea lion pups. We spent two weeks, 10 hours per day, wow, sitting on the beaches of a private sheep ranch straddling the northern coastline of Peninsula Valdez. Wow, Bill, 10 hours, that is a long time. Um, but what an experience for you and what a fabulous catch. This is uh, has detail and depth. It's very, very sharp. Uh, do we have your, now we don't have your exposure information. Um, that would be great to have um, for everybody. If you could add your aperture and shutter speed, um, the lens you used, focal length, that just really helps us to make suggestions. But I, I think this is well composed. Uh, uh, this is I don't like it when my subjects hit the edge of the frame and I understand that these are moving subjects and you know and if you had gone a little wider you might be chopping off something here I wasn't there I don't know that same thing here just a little tight so if this is a crop at all um, I'd pull back just a little bit but you've got a nice diagonal line here and the sea lions are uh, are in that same sort of a format as well and the there's a beautiful diagonal here in the, the line of the sand. So uh, I think this is a great capture. Um, I think that all this movement captures the intensity of the moment, and I, I can't imagine what that was like to sit there and, and see, <laughs> see that come to shore. So very well done. And here's our third photo. Let me read you the information we have on this. This is called Love is in, whoops, sorry. 
wrong one. This is called Lone Cabin by Carrie St. Ange. Old Cabin by Lake Seemed Tranquil. Okay, that's not a lot of information uh, for us, Carrie. Like I said, the more information you give us, the uh, the more information we can give you in a critique as well. All right, the first thing I notice here is this crooked line. It's dividing the frame pretty much right into halves. Uh, and you've got another one this way. So it's really chopping up your frame. Strong line here, strong line there. So the first thing that I want to do is straighten that out. So um, since I have this open in Photoshop, let's do that right now. It's a pretty simple fix. You go to Image, Image Rotation, and choose Arbitrary. And uh, about three on the angle will probably do well. Counterclockwise, let's see. All right, let's Crop in a little bit and check the straightness on that. I think three is going to do it. Okay, so that's that's a lot straighter. That looks pretty good, but we've still got this line issue. Um, I, I love the tones and the the blue. I always love blue and green together here. Um, and, and the softness and the reflection is great, but I don't think we need all of this reflection to tell this story. The story is here. You've got a cabin on a lake, so we need to show some reflection, but we don't need all of it. Um, so let me try a crop to simplify this a little bit and get rid of that those strong centered lines. So let's come in here a little bit, which moves that tree over to the center. It's not right in the third, but I'm not big on, on rules, such as rule, <laughs> rule of thirds. And, uh, and let's pull this up a little bit, because we can still tell the story without all of that. Okay, see, I, I think this looks pretty nice. It's still, um, I, I think it could use a little bit of brightening. Let's try a levels adjustment. Yeah, and you can see here that there's a we could if this could use some brightening up. So let's just pull that, and let's look at the before and after. It just gives it a little punch. We can probably take that just a little bit more. So here's your before and after. I think this looks great now. Um, it's beautiful. Good job. And here is our photo number four. And let me read you the information on this. This is called Love is in the Air by Darlene Bean. It was taken with a Nikon D300S with a Nikon 600 millimeter lens, 1 800th of a second at f4.5, shot in manual and no flash used. Thank you for including that information, Darlene. That's really helpful. What a moment. Darlene, your timing was fabulous. I mean, look, both beaks are open. Um, and <laughs> that's just great. The eyes look sharp. There's wonderful detail here in the feathers. Um, really, really well done. I also like how well the birds are isolated from their from the background because if any of this was in focus, this wouldn't be as strong. Excellent curves. You've got um, this little branch kind of photo bombing here. <laughs> it's not in focus. Um, I'd take that out. You could easily clone some of this background material right over that. Um, and, and I might pull this up just a little bit. I mean, you can't see where the feet end, so I certainly wouldn't want to chop the feet off, but maybe just pull that up just a little bit to get rid of some of the foliage that's out of focus, and maybe just pull this in a little bit like that too. But really nice light, excellent detail, um, and like I said, amazing timing. That must have really been something to see. And last but not least, we have this photo by Nina Kling. Hello, Nina. Uh, Nina says this is called Lines. That she participates in a weekly photo challenge, and this was her submission for the theme lines. On a freezing day, she decided to go to the Metropolitan Museum and look for a subject. This was shot in the Egyptian section, great lines, light, and reflections. Hey, Nina, you did your own critique. <laughs> Uh, I, I agree completely. The, the light is fabulous. The lines are amazing. And what I love is that all lines lead me to this, to this figure. You know, these lines, these lines, these lines all pull me to this figure. You also did a really nice job being sure that the figure doesn't, didn't merge with these lines. Um, 
you know, and there's separation between this line and the figure as well. I love the distortion at the bottom, and diagonal lines are always a wonderful thing to have in a photograph. Uh, really strong uh, graphic lines in this Nina. Beautiful job. Very well done. So there are my five critiques from Re week one. I encourage you all to um, to submit photos and um, give us a decent size photo to look at and as much information as you can. You know, not only the technical stuff, tell us what you saw, what you were going for. Um, and, uh, and until next week, um, happy shooting everybody.